Yeah! <laughs> hey guys, girls, welcome to another episode of Ashful Auto Repairs. Can you dig it? Alright, check it out. Today I am going to show you how to replace the rear brake shoes, not pads. Now, pads is to be the little ones. That's like pretty much for the fronts and some like disc brakes. That's what you call pads. The other ones are called shoes. They're the big ones. So I'm going to show you how to replace uh, rear shoes on a 2002 Chrysler PT Cruiser. Man, we're becoming an expert at these vehicles. All right, here's the car behind me, that nice cranberry color they call it. So what I'm going to do first is jack it up. Get it up on jack stands, which is very important, and then we're going to get ready to pull these tires off. All right, let's get to it. We'll be right back. All right, guys, girls, here we go. First thing, I want you to take a notice. I got my hydraulic jack jacked up in the center of the axle right there. You can see that, and then I got two jack stands on each end. Now, being that I'm in dirt, you definitely want to have some support on the bottom. To make sure these jacks in don't sink into the ground and the car falls, especially if you gotta get up under it. I don't have to get up under it, but you still want it at added security. So I got a piece of wood right there, and I got a piece of panel from an old PT cruiser that we had. Um, we put it right there. The next thing we're gonna do is take off our lugs. On this PT cruiser, the lugs, and yours is probably the same, the lugs are three-quarter or 19 millimeter. And, what I, and this one has a wheel lock also, so you want to make sure you have the wheel lock. You got that. You're going to just, you want to turn that because it won't lock in. It locks in only one way. So you want to turn it till it locks into place. I got my three quarter inch. I mean, 19, I got my 19 millimeter. They better. 19 millimeter deep, half inch drive impact socket. Let's set our camera up over here. And then we're gonna take those off. Let's start off with our wheel lock. Okay. All right, and we got our tie off. All right, let's go to the other side. I'm gonna take that tie off and we'll be right back. All right, got the back of the vehicle. We got both tires off. The next thing you wanna do is get you a little cart right here, a little, little sitting chair with the wheels on it. These things are great, guys. You can sit here and just do these brakes, cut your music on. See, I can't cut the music on, or YouTube gonna get me for that. <laughs> well, you cut your music on and have a good time and sit here. Macy. Macy, say hi to Macy. See you, you mutt. All right. <laughs> All right, the next thing we're going to do, guys, is set the camera up right here. And it's got these little caps on it, little dust caps. We want to remove those. And what you're going to do is get you a nice small screwdriver and a hammer. Let me set you up right here. Yeah, there we go. That looks good. All right. Got me a nice size little hammer with a screwdriver and what you want to do is go around it get this screwdriver right on the edge and once you get a piece in there just keep on wow look at them brakes man them brakes are locked up go around it and keep twisting that until you can get that cap off of there now what I'm doing is I may be prying a little bit like this, but mostly what I'm doing is just twisting the screwdriver. You go either way, counterclockwise or clockwise. You want to go around, and as you can see that, just working that, that off of there. You got it off, just like that. Now, let's go to the other side, and I'm going to get that off. And then we're going to come back and take off this center nut right there. We'll be right back. All right, guys and girls, we're back. Now, in the center here, we got a, a nut. That nut is 1 and 3 sixteenths. Or, uh, if you don't have that, find you a 30 millimeter socket. And I got me a 1 and 3 sixteenths shallow, half-inch drive socket. It fits a little loose, but it's, it's going to definitely take this off. So we're going 
Gitti. Take that right off. Now these these brakes are really locked up and you can see how locked up it is. Sometimes you can take a little hammer and beat it around. And this didn't work at all, man. And if you're having this problem, oh man. So what we're gonna have to do is let me see if uh we're gonna have to de adjust these brakes. Let's see if I can get you a good look at this. See if we, hey, let's get me a mirror. Uh, let me go get me a mirror and I'll be right back. Okay, I got me a mirror. And matter of fact, let's see if I can set this up right here. And uh, let's bring this camera up. All right, that's a perfect level right here. All right, I got me a mirror right here. And if you look in this mirror, See, man, you can't see that. Come up here. All right. And if you look inside this mirror, you see there's a a black little plug right here, right there. Now what we gotta do is take that plug off. So you take us a a flat screwdriver. And, oh, guys, I hope you can see this good. Take us a flat screwdriver, and I'm trying to do this backwards, and we're just gonna pop that off just like that. And inside there, there is an adjuster. You know what? Let's make this easy for you guys. Let's go over here to the other side of the vehicle. Let's go over here to the other side. Let's get our gun and all. Let's go over here to the other side. Because this side is spinning. So maybe this side will come off and I can show you better. All right, let's take this nut off of here. All right. Now, let's see if we can pull this off. There we go. It's rusty. All right, there we go. Now, that plug that I took off in the back. That's right there, inside there. So matter of fact, let me pull it off. Reach my hand back here. I'm gonna pop that off and you can see. There's a, you can see my hand back, my finger back there now. So now what we gotta do is, those brakes are really pushed out back there. So what we gotta do is de-adjust the brakes, which means we gotta take this adjuster and now what this adjuster does, it adjusts these brakes out as you're driving. Now something must be wrong over there because these brakes over here ain't that bad at ain't that bad at all so something is definitely wrong on that side and it's probably the adjusters are frozen up or something but what we need to do is get in there and de-adjust I mean, we got to bring this screw in so this can collapse in and bring these brakes in and get that drum off all right so let's go get us a and it's kind of difficult sometimes because this see this little lever right here this little lever stops the brakes from de-adjusting so it can turn this way but it won't be able to turn that way, which is going to be a little problem for us on the other side since we can't, on this side, we can hold this back and de-adjust it. But believe me, you can do it. It's just going to hit this and it's going to, it's going to, it's going to be a little bit more difficult, but we got to do what we got to do. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with it. We're going to test it out on this side and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. All right. I'll be right back. All right, guys and girls, here we go. Now, what I got here. I got here an, an adjusting, a brake adjusting spoon. That's what they call these. And it's all different kind of angles and different kinds. What we're gonna do, that slot in the back that we put back there. Matter of fact, what is it? Wait, 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 hold on. Let's get our mirror. Now. you at a better angle here. All right. Now, you see that slot that we put back in there? Took that plug out of. Now what we're gonna do is take our adjusting spoon 
and we're going to stick our adjusting spoon in that way. Now you might have to put it the opposite way, upside down, but that's the hole we're going into. All right? So let's back up back here. Let's go back to our rear brakes right here. And now we know that if we turn the spoon, turn this wheel this way, it's going to adjust. So we need to turn it the opposite way to de-adjust. So what I'm going to do is get my spoon in there. And see, now I'm trying to turn it. Now that is adjusting, going that way. But what I want to do is try to go the other way. And that's good as it is turning. And see, as I'm turning that wheel in, it's actually bringing this adjuster in. And it's going to allow me, it's going to bring these brakes in. And it's going to let me take that drum off on the other side. And I just want to keep on going. And then it gets to a point where I can do it by hand. So I'm going to just hold this spoon out. And still, just hold that bracket out. But still, it's kind of messed up. So I'm going to have to adjust it more. But that's what we're going to do on the other side. All right? So let's get back over this side. So now we know exactly how that thing looks inside here. So we know clockwise is going to tighten it. So we need them to go counterclockwise, which is okay. So we're going to reach back here. Matter of fact, let me go get the mirror. Bear back. All right, here we go. Now what I did was I got me a, a, a some from a different vehicle, and this is exactly what I'm talking about. This one's all the way pushed in. This is a brake adjuster, and you can see. See how it's starting to wind out? So what it's doing is pushing, it's making sure the brake shoes are adjusted close enough to the drum so when you step on the brakes, the brake pedal is right there. It's going to stop. And that's adjusting. Now what we now right now, it's probably way out here just like the other side. So what we're going to do is de-adjust it to go back in and allow us to remove this. Because right now, you can see this thing is really stuck. So I don't, man, then you gotta sit back here and you gotta figure out which way you're turning it. And then you gotta just keep on. It's, guys, it's not that easy. So don't think, uh, if you get frustrated, get, you can't get it, don't worry about it, don't get frustrated. Just keep on at it until you can get it. This thing is really rusted in there. Like it's getting like it's stuck. If it's stuck, man, we're gonna have a serious problem on our hand. Wow, man, this thing. Starting to move, you can see it. Starting to move, it's gonna be a while. <laughs> so I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna adjust this a little bit more, and then we'll be right back. All right, guys, I adjusted that thing. This thing is still stuck, man. <sighs> you know, let me take my spoon, and what I'm gonna do here is try to see if see, the thing is, uh, we got something serious going on here. Here it comes, there it goes. Something in there is really messed up. Look at that, I'm taking the, looks like I'm taking the drum off. Yeah, look at that, I'm taking the drum off of uh, the bearing and all. I didn't even know that thing came apart like that. <laughs> so, 
to set up over here again. I can't wait to see what was what's going on inside of here. Okay, the top is loose. So I'm holding this at the bottom. I think I got I might have to get another. Another drum on this. This thing is stuck in and stuck. This came out a little bit more. You know what? Started playing around like this. Go get me a pry bar. Be right back. All right, it got me a pry bar. To see, if I can pry this off. Worst that can happen is that I gotta get a new spring kit. Don't look that bad. I definitely need me a spring kit. I just tore this whole thing up. And we gotta figure out what the heck was uh sticking in here. Now what I'm gonna do is now what I'm gonna do is you see the brakes right there. What I'm gonna do is loosen up this spring right here. Just take it off on one side, unhook it just like that. Take the whole thing off. Let it rest there. And we're gonna see uh, what the heck happened. <laughs> Let's see, we got a spring here. Should be two of them. We got the two, but uh, this one has a cap on it, and I'm not sure where the cap is for this. Did it fall off, or is that why the brakes were locking up? All right, I got it, it's right here. This thing is really dirty. <laughs> I have no idea. But we're gonna do definitely get us another Now if I noticed, looking at this one, this one looks like it's been running around, rattling around in there, and this thing was squealing. So I think this one, came, yeah, this one came loose and messed these brakes up. So we definitely gonna get us a rear spring kit, clean this up, and we're gonna replace these brake shoes. All right, we'll be right back. All right, guys, girls, check this out. We got a lot of stuff around here. We got to clean up. Um, where's our old parts at? Here, here. Now, looking at the old one, the old one, it had came right 
through there and that's what jammed these brakes up. So uh, the auto parts store did not have any and luckily as a mechanic we have a lot of extra parts. So I got two brand new ones. Hold down clips to hold that place. This one is still holding but you can see how rusty it is. So uh, I definitely want to change this one too. But before we do that we're going to take an air blower and we're going to blow all this out of here. Now this part is very important. Before you blow all this out, make sure you put your dusk mask on or something and make sure nobody's around you, especially pets, any kind of animals or something like that. Um, unless it's people that you don't like, have them stand right where the air is blowing. Because <laughs> this stuff can cause cancer, all right, on a serious note. So uh, there's a lot, of, a lot of stuff in here, as you can see. So I got my air blower here. Where is it? There it is right here. I'm going to hook it up and we're going to clean that up. Alright, right back. Alright, we're ready. Got my air blower here. Got my mask on. I'm going to stand back. Gotta clean that up as much as possible. There we go. That's good. Get all that stuff out of there. Alright, let's get our new brake pads and we're going to we're gonna take this apart. And uh, this matter of fact, let's go clean up down here where we're working at. I think I'll do this. Keep this right here, that's our cover. Just blow this off. Got a nice clean area to work on. Alright, we'll be right back. Alright guys and girls, first what we want to do, we want to take this called, this uh, disconnect the emergency brake cable. It's got this spring in it. Sometimes that can be very difficult. So what I'm gonna do is show you a little trick that I do. I'm gonna get you a pair of dikes. Be very careful with this. Get your pair of vice grips, take the vice grips, hold it up against the arm, just like that, the brake uh, adjusting arm. Take your vice grips, you're gonna put it between there just enough. And you be careful not to crimp this all come and cut that cable, you'll be in trouble. What you're gonna do is pry it back just like that, hold it. Using the dikes, bring it forward, pop it loose. See that? Just like that. Just that easy. Took out the brakes as one whole assembly. Now this is why it's a good idea to take apart the drum. Instead of just taking off the drum, which you can if you want, but when you got the drum on it, with a where the hub at? There it is. See now, with our hub up here, it gets it makes it more difficult to work around the brakes and all. So that's why I disconnect the the bolt, the nut, take it off, and now we can work as the whole assembly. Works a heck of a lot better. All right. Now before we put the new brakes on, what you want to do here is called we call the 007. Anything that's got to do with Q-tips and grease <laughs> and brakes. We're going to use, it's called the 007. So make sure you have you some Q-tips. Because what I used to do is use my finger and put the grease right there and put it up there. So uh, a good, very good friend of ours from Canada, Manic Mechanic 007, subscribe to his channel. He said, Tim, why don't you just keep some Q-tips in your hand? So I got some Q-tips now. And I got some uh, brake lubricant grease. And what you want to do is just lubricate just a little bit where the brakes are contacting at. So in that way, when you step on the brakes, you don't feel, no, you don't hear no squealing or nothing back there. Everything is good. And just pay attention to where I'm putting these points at. Yeah, that way, just a little bit, just just for noise, and more than likely it won't make a noise, but I like to do that anyway. All right, now let's go and uh set our new brake pads up. Now what we got back here. Let's see if we can get you to see this. Get a better. There's our new brake pads. We're gonna have to move somewhere with we out of the sun. Be right back. All right, here we go. Make sure you can see this. Here's our old brakes. Now 
Now what you're going to do, we're going to leave it just like this. And this is the spring we took off in the beginning. So what we're going to do is just unhook that spring, set it down so you know where it goes. Now here's a little, little trick for this part. Now you've got this little section right here. Take this spring and pick it up, set it over, pay attention to how it goes, set that down. And this part right here, now what you want to do here, which is very good, remember that adjuster? So right now I'm taking my hand and I'm going to slowly, oh, going the wrong way, <laughs> slowly bring this adjuster in. Get this out of the way. Try to get to that. And this thing, this thing gets so stuck sometimes. There we go. You can see I'm bringing that adjuster in. And I'm holding, what I'm doing is actually was holding the brake pads back a little bit. See what I'm doing is, is pulling, doing the spring, pulling back a little bit. And then bringing that in. Because what I'm doing here is takes a lot of tension off the spring so I can easily take this apart. See if that's enough now. Not enough yet. Almost. Almost there. We're gonna bring that in as much as I can. And it's good to do this with the car with it on the car, so that way you got this already done and all. Or I can use some needle nose and push that. Matter of fact, let me go get some needle nose and try that. Very back. Alright, I'm back. What I got me is a pair of vice grips to make it easier. Let's see here. Now I'm not really grabbing this hand, this handle. I'm not really grabbing that ring because I don't want to mess them teeth up. And that's all I'm going to do here is keep on twisting it until I feel no tension on that spring right there. Or very little. As you can see now, that's it. No tension at all. Now what I can do here, take my needle nose vice grips, and what I'm gonna try to do here is grab just where the spring is right there. Make sure it's nice and tight. And then, if you can see that, bring that spring Pick it up just like that. Set the spring to the side. Open this up just like that. Now set my brake pads to the side. Everything is looking good. Now let's get our new brake pad, brake shoes. Matching it up right there. Good. I love the riveted ones. Oh, look at that. That thing is really cracked up. So I'm going to line that up. I'm going to keep that just like that. Now on our other one, you notice how there's this little adjusting arm. On our new pad, new shoe, it doesn't have it. Now what you want to do is make sure that you got the right shoe. Because the other shoe, see the little pin right there? There we go. See the little pin? You got to make sure they line up just alike. Alright. This is held on by a little e-clip. You see a little e-clip right there? So what we're gonna do is just get us a little screwdriver and pop that off. Be right back. All right, now you wanna be careful with this because this thing can't snap off and jump somewhere. <laughs> so we wanna slowly get that off of there, hold it in place. Let me show you where we are. Yeah, hold it in place. And take it off. Take it out just like that. Now, this right here, this little washer right here, put that there. 
Now you notice how this is all inside there. Let's see if it pops out of there. No, it do not. Now we got two options here. One, we can either try to take this one out, which is stuck too, or we're gonna have to really get this out of here. So how are we gonna get this out of here without bending this bracket or messing this up or anything? That should be a good question. What I'm gonna do here, let's take one of these brake pads and use it as some kind of guide. And you notice how I'm putting it right there just like that. Put this thing up against the truck. We got more leverage at. Huh. You know what? I'm gonna get me a let's get a hammer. We're gonna set it up just like that. And do it. Right back. Alright, guys, I was looking at something here. Now this thing is on here. This is not good. You know, because even though that one looked the same, if this was like this, and if I put that on, if I, I got it lined up right now, just like that, the notice how my adjuster is on the opposite side. That's going to suck. That's really going to suck. I guess I'm gonna have to knock that pin out of there then. Alright, that's cool. So, let's go over here. We're gonna set our thing up like that, get our little hammer. There we go. Knocked right out. Now, what I'm gonna have to do, because this has got to set on this side. So I gotta actually take that pin out. If I, what about if I get the other brake pad? I wonder. No, no, no. I better not mess up. Let me. You know what? Let's get this thing out of here. All right. There we go. So in that way, we put this back this way, just like that. All right, let's hammer that down a little bit. Then, put it in there. There we go. Now we're looking like it's supposed to. Now what we're going to do is get our little washer. A little wavy washer because that keeps the tension on it. Keeps it nice and moving. And then we're going to... Still, we're going to set this up. Then we're going to take our little E-clip. We're going to put it on. Now, in here, you're going to see a little glue. Let me remove this washer right here. See that little groove right there in there? That's what you got to hook that groove, hook that on to. Yeah, this thing looks like it's... Man, these things, these brake pads suck. This is another little problem here. Look at this. See that? See how smooth it is around there? Oh, I hate door last. Huh? If you look right there, see that little ridge right there? What's messed up was inside there. So it's actually stopping me from going flush. So I'm gonna have to grind that. I'm gonna have to get over here and grind that down. Dang it! Man, this door last sucks. Ah. All right. I'll be right back. All right. Let's see if we can do this now. I got my little grinding wheel here. And let's see. All right. Well, now what we want to do is get that little lip off of there. Let's see, if I take my wheel like this... Alright. 
now, quicker than quick. Now let's put our little wavy washer up there. Let's set this down and let's get our E-clip pushed in there. And you want to take your screwdriver at the same time and push that E-clip in place. Get a little piece of glove in there. That's all right. Make sure it's locked into place. There we go. Now, break is good to go. Now, we can start putting this back together. The first thing we're going to do is make sure our adjuster is all the way out. You know what? This is kind of messed up here. I don't like that. So, so we're going to put a little grease on that, okay? So let's go get our. Let's go get some grease. We'll be right back. All right, got me some white lithium grease here. Get my little Q-tip and put some up there. And I want to make sure this thing turns good. Adjust, the brakes are just good, so I'm gonna put some little grease on here. Yeah, there we go. That's nice. Yeah. Just run that up there. Oh yeah, we got to that point. Look at that. Turn it by one hand. Bring it back. That way the brakes are gonna adjust perfectly. Now push that all the way in and you can see it's got a space between there. So I'm just gonna bring this up just till it barely touches. Now we're going to get this thing back together. So, the first thing you want to do. You see on this side, there's a long slot. Right there, right? Now, wipe my hands off. You've got your brake shoe right here. With the adjuster in the back. That long slot's got to go over that. Now see, if you try to do it this way, you can do it, but that's, that's wrong. See that little gap in there? That's wrong. Take that back out. So make sure it goes this way. Right back in there like that. Okay, that's going to be that side. Now on this side, there's a little bit of opening right there. See that little gap right there? That part is going to face towards you. Because what that does is hosing your the retainer for your adjuster. So it can go like that. And then in there. Just like that. Alright? So we're going to take this back off. Matter of fact, we can just leave this together. And let me show you how we're going to do this an easier way. See a little clip right there? See the hole right there? It goes in there. All right. Get the brake shoe lined up. Push it back into place. That's set. All right. Lay it down. Put the other one on. And you remember how it goes. That long part goes away from you. Bring that in, together, just like that. See that guys? That is perfect. Last thing we got to do now is hook up our spring. Now you can use your vice grips to uh, on either end of this. And what it does, let me sh show you on this old one. What it does is right on these sections right there, that open section, that's where you want to hook that spring on to. So we're going to hook it up to one side, and being that we're all the way in, it should be easy to just push that just a little bit, snap that right into place. Then we got our spring at the bottom. Remember that, that's going to go down in the little holes, like that, and then across to the other one. But we ain't done yet. Now, you got your adjusting spring right here to hold that adjuster in place. And what that's gonna do is, like here's our brake pad. It's gonna hook up like that. And we're gonna get another side. And now there's a long end and there's a short end. Take the long end, hook it up in there, and it's gonna go up and hook up onto that little bar. So if you can see it down here, hook it in. And if I want, what I'm gonna do here. Get my little needle nose. And I 
I'm gonna bring that up there and latch that on. Look at that. That is ready to go. Be right back. All right, now we're ready to put this on. Wait a minute. Let's that's, bring that's that's bring this backwards. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You know what? That spring is backwards. That's right. The little end goes down here. Now it looks like you could fit both ways and it probably could. But uh, just in case, we're going to put that the right way. There we go. Then we're going to take our little spring. This part is pretty much holding together now. We're gonna hook it up into there. Just so we know. Now you don't look okay, hook it up now or take it off just so you don't mess it up later or lose it or something. Now outside, I, this bricks are back ready to go back together. Let's go and hook this up. Put this on into the car. Be right back. Alright guys, guys, here we go. We're back over here. We're gonna get ready to set this up. Now, the next thing we're gonna do, this is what I like about this this open, got the hub off. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set our brake pad up here. That's a good time to check your wheel cylinders, make sure there's no leaking around here. Cause if it's wet in here and leaking, you better be replacing that wheel cylinder. All right. So what we're gonna do here is put our brake pads. Be careful with that dust boot. Over like that. And you got those pins in the back. One hand hold the pin in, put in place. Then you try to get it to line up just like that. Now down here, you want to make sure that it's behind that little bracket right there. Make sure that it's behind that, okay? <laughs> now we still got our emergency brake pedal to put on. Well, I ain't worried about that right now. Let's get that one up there. Now the next thing we're gonna do, we got one. We got our spring that's gotta go over here. Both springs are the same thing on both sides. We got our new retainer here. It goes inside the spring just like that. See that? And what you're gonna need here is a brake tool. Where is it? Where the heck? Now, okay, here we go. Now, what you're gonna need is one of these tools. These are cool. Because what these does is push down, and the way it's made, it holds on to that retainer so you can push it and turn it in. Now these things are made like little arrows. These little clips out here. Let me show you. Uh, get you a close up on that. See that thing is made like a little arrow. The tip of it. So. What you're going to do. What that's going to do here. It's going to go in there. And then you're going to turn it 90 degrees. Or the other way. And it's going to lock into place. Alright. Now you can use either a pair of vice grips, which is kind of difficult, it's kind of hard to get in there. Yeah, you can probably turn, I could probably turn it if I had to. But that's why I like this tool. So with this tool, I hold one finger holds the back of it, put it on, make sure it's lined up right there, and all. Push it in, make sure it's lined up. Push it in, turn it 90 degrees, and lock it right into place. There we go. Now we're going to get our cable put on. Same principle as before. We're going to take our vice grips this time. We're going to close them up. And what we're going to do here, let's get, our, let's get this thing off to the side here. What we're going to do here is hold our the end of that cable just like that. Take our dikes, bring it back, hold it. I'm gonna go a little bit more. We can just keep on going as much as we need to. Once we get that, bring that back, put it into place, bring it, let the spring go. Just like that. Just that easy, guys. Just that easy. All right, now let's get this rod back there lined up with this hole right there. Get that lined in there some kind of way. There it comes, there it comes, there it is, right lined up. Yeah, there we go. 
And, okay, we got our new clip here, well, our other one. And you see how I messed up that one? That one's about to break too. <laughs> so we caught that one. So we gotta change that. And sometimes you can just take your finger and pop it out, but when it's like this, take a screwdriver or something. It's still in there. Wow. All right, there we go. Let's get our new one. Pop it into place. Line, make sure the arrow's kind of lined up with it. 90 degrees. Lock it right into place. Look at that. We are looking good here. We are definitely looking good. That thing's all the way back. Everything is good. All right, we'll be right back. All right, guys, girls, the last part we got to do down here at the bottom. Putting this spring on. So your needle nose come in. You want to take your needle nose. And you're going to grab just the tip of that spring. Hook it on the one side. Make sure you go under this bracket. Stretch that spring over and lock it right into place. Look at that. You did a great job, guys. You did a great job indeed. Look at that. Now, as you can see, our adjuster is all in place. So we can adjust it. Let me, as a matter of fact, with our adjusting spoon, because what I want to do is show you how we're going to be adjusting this so you get an idea throw this out of the way now alright here we go now I got my adjusting spoon and the adjusting spoon is toward the back you see how I got my adjusting spoon and what's going to happen is I'm going to reach my spoon in there and now I'm going to be turning it like that you hear the clicking? And that's gonna that's gonna what that doing is opening that up now and I'm gonna adjust it till it just barely touches just barely now touches the drum that looks good all right but before we do that let's go to the other side and get that side apart and get them breaks done be right back all right here we go we're on the right side and this side is together and this is how yours is going to look when you take it apart instead of broken apart like the other side. <laughs> Alright, the first thing we're going to do, let's get our small needle nose vice grips. And we got that little spring at the bottom, remember that? So let's just grab onto that spring. Get our needle nose, unhook it. Now we know it's unhooked, it's, it's right there, it's good. We can bring it out, let it hang like that. The next thing we're going to do is grab our tool. This. And remember, that arrow in there. So that's what we have to do is turn it 90 degrees from where it's at. Clockwise or counterclockwise. This one's closer to you. How about this one? Okay, let's just turn that. We're going to push it in. Turn it. And it's going to just be a little rusty. But then it's going to come right out of there and pop right off. See, now it's look good. All right, gonna put that down. Now, in case you don't have that tool, get you some vice grips. Dang it. Do not squeeze that thing tight. Cause you can't bend that piece. And take your vice grips, put it in. Come right off, just like that. So you can use your vice grips as well in case you don't have that. The next thing we're gonna do is open your brake pads up, the brake sh shoes up, pull them off from there, pull them off from there, be careful of that boot, there it is, look at that, hanging right over, alright, so let it hang down just like that, get our dikes, and hold that piece with our vice grips, or you can use another method, either whether any kind of method that would hold that piece 
hold that in there for you. I ain't gonna give me no. Now I wanna give me a hard time. Let me go up this way. Now I gotta go down this way, man. Hold it in the place. Take it right off, just like that. All right, we got our got our same thing. Got it off. Get with our spring, and what we're gonna do? We're gonna clean up, blow all that off. Make sure all little tabs, little rods are in there. No leaking, nothing wet. Cause if it's wet, you're gonna have a problem with that wheel cylinder. You're gonna have to change it. All right, so we're gonna back all our tools out of the way first. We're gonna get our air gun and blow all that out. Throw right back. All right, here we go. Same, like the same side. Now we're looking at the right side. So the first thing I wanna do is take off our spring that's holding this adjuster cable on. I'm used to doing this by hand, picking it up. Now this one, you notice the other one went over. This hook is going under. So we wanna make sure we got that, that it goes under. The next thing we're gonna do, can we hook that? Unhook that, take that out of there. And now we want to get our adjuster in there. And you can see right now, this is kind of hard. So what I'm going to do here is use my vice grips. To keep on bringing that adjuster in all the way. in all the way because there's a gap between there so now that's good now next I want to do is take my needle nose vice grips and just like before I can go to either this end or this end I'm gonna crimp just at the tip of that spring and I'm using my finger to bring it out and unhook it then unhook the other side just like that then I can take it apart Just like before, to bring my adjuster open like that. Because we want this thing to be moving good. So we get some, do the 007. Put some lithium grease on that. And on the back side. And you just want to make sure. Bring it up. Make sure that this is moving good. And go back the other way. It's good. Now adjuster is set. Now the next thing we're gonna do, just like before, on this brake pad, the E clip, that's a little bitty screwdriver. And remember, you get that you can see the little grooves in there where you can do that. So you're gonna put the screwdriver in there, pry it open, and be careful because that spring, that E clip, can pop off and you'll lose it. So take it off just a little bit at a time. Okay, it's off. Set it down. Bring down the bracket just like that. There's our wavy washer up there. Take that off. And because of these crummy AutoZone brakes, they put, now these clips, why couldn't these clips be out already, right? This is definitely wrong. So what I gotta do is put that thing over here Take our hammer, knock that clip out, set that down, get our new one, <laughs> put it up there, knock it out, put the clip inside of here. But we gotta put our wavy washer, and actually I think on the other one I put the wavy washer on the opposite one, on the opposite way, wrong way. <laughs> put our wavy washer right there, Put it through there. Now let's see if we have the same problem over here. And we do. As you can see, see that thing is not setting flush? That's what these crummy brakes. So what I gotta do, that little part right there, you gotta grind that part off. So let me get my air. Where is it? 
So get my air, my my chisel, my uh, whiz wheel right here. And what I'm going to do here is I am going to grind that little piece off right there. might have lifetime warranty brakes but I don't see how you have a lifetime warranty on junk <laughs> so let me set this thing up there all right all right let's see here now this goes right here make sure yeah it's gonna go just like that what I gotta do is just make sure that clip is in there all the way Make sure that thing is flat then take it put it in just like that then we're going to take our e-clip remember that little groove right there so you make sure that it's in that groove and take a screwdriver and then we're going to push that clip right on snap it into place make sure it's in that groove Go. It's in there. That's done. Let's get our new brake brake shoe over here. Make sure they're lined up because you can't put them up up upside down. You won't be able to fit it in there, but you can. All right. So make sure it's the right way. Next thing we're gonna do is put our adjuster back in there. Now remember the big part, that big opening. Make sure that is away from you on this side, so it fits in just like. Just like that. And on the other one, you make sure see that little opening, how it sticks, how it's open more open at the top end. Make sure that's facing you. We're gonna take our little adjuster right here. It fits into the groove right here. Now you can move it like this. Now watch what I do now. I'm gonna put that in there, make sure it fits right in there. Push it back. Okay. That's, that's set up pretty good. Next we're gonna do, get this out of the way, get our spring in there. Put our spring, now the spring, remember, see how it sets? It sets like that, over. I'm sure, either way, it doesn't matter. And over here, you probably, now that we got all the tension up here, I probably don't even need my um, vice grips. That's all I have to do is bring this over and just pull just a little bit just to snap that right into place. And that's done. The next thing we're going to do, the, the spring. Remember the spring on this side, on the right side, hooks up under. So we're going to hook it up on the under. And we're going to hook it right onto that little lip right there on this bracket. Now what this bracket does it keeps them brakes from de-adjusting. Look at that. We got a little spring right here. Just hook our spring onto the bottom. Let it hang just like that. We are good to go. All right, we're ready to go put this on. Be right back. All right, guys and girls, here we go. The first thing we want to do is just lubricate those points. The 007. <laughs> Get us some lubricant grease. And lubricate the contact points. It's going to be three on each side. Just a little bit. Now you don't got to go crazy. Okay. Now on this side, let's do some. Let's try something a little different here. Let's try to hook up this to make it easier for us. Before we do that, all right. So what we're gonna do is get our vice grips. Let's grab just the, the tip of this right here. So this way you can see how it's actually done. Get our dikes, squeeze it in there, back it up, and now if I have to go more, I'll just move it up. Now I'm holding it into place. Get our system set up, put it in there like that. 
let it go. That was a lot easier. I think I'm going to do that from now on. Okay, let's turn it over. The first thing we're going to do is let's get on to the hook up to the top. Now you want to make sure that you make sure this thing is your, your wheel cylinders are pushed in. And then you want to slowly get that one side in. And you want to try your best not to rip that boot. And you shouldn't. Shouldn't. It's very easy as you can see. Good look at that. Guys, we are doing a great job. All right, the first thing we're going to do, let's hook up one side. So that little rod in the back. Let's make sure that's hooked up. Stick our rod through there, just like that. And then we get our, get one of our retainers, put it up there. And remember, it's like an arrow. And you see how it's set up inside here, right? So you want to make sure you put that inside there and line that up. Think so sometimes, you know, this takes a little doing. And once you get it lined up in there, turn it 90 degrees, and it'll lock right into place. Just like that. Alright? So let's get our other one. Now remember, see how I'm setting up these these brakes at the bottom. You gotta go behind that, that uh, riveted bracket. Okay, let's get our other one lined up in here. Just like that. Get our spring up there, hold it into place. Get our tool. The tool, man, the tool, this tool makes it so much easier. Look at that. Everything is into place. There we go. Everything is in place. Everything is looking good. Last but not least, we got our spring that goes at the bottom. And as you recall, you got these little holes right here. One right there and one right there. It's going to hook into here. It's going to go up under that bracket and hook up into there. So, now that you got that, put my needle nose pliers. Now I'm wondering, I'm wondering could we put it in there and then try to roll that spring up under there? I don't know, maybe. I'm gonna grab it right toward the end and I'm gonna pull it over, hook it in. Guys, we are looking great. Again, on the adjustment on this, the spoon goes to the back. As a matter of fact, let me get my adjusting spoon so I can show you how this one's going to go. Okay. So, we got it right there. And you can see the opening right through the back. And what I'm going to do is put my adjusting spoon right there. Just like that. See, See how it's adjusting? It's going to adjust it. Now I just want to show you how it's going and how it's going to go so you know which way to adjust it instead of trying to go the other way. So what we're going to do here now is on this side, we'll get our, get our drum. This side has got our hub already in there and all. And you want to make sure it's all cleaned out. No grooves or nothing in the drum. Everything looks good. And we're just going to slide that on. Just like that. Perfect. Let's get our 1 and 3 16th nut. Let's get our air gun and tighten that up. Be right back. Okay. Get that in. And these are lock nuts. Which means you don't need no lock washer or anything. If you look inside there, you'll see a little bit of little plastic ring in there. That grabs onto them threads so it does not back up. Great. Alright, I'm going to go over there and do the other side. And then we're going to start adjusting them. Bear right back. Alright, here we go. Now on adjusting these, remember you just want a slight drag. 
So you want to get your adjuster back there. And then I, you hear it clicking, so I know it's tightening. And that's all you want to keep going till you feel a slight drag. Not a lot, because you will, if you do it too much, you're going to overheat these brakes. Now, a lot of times they do it with the wheel on, but I like doing it with the wheel off, so that way you definitely know you're not getting a light drag. Yeah, there we go. So I can probably go a little bit more, and that's it. Now, I know that's ready to go. It's got a slight, very slight drag on it. All right, the next thing we're going to do over this side, get a little cap. And what you want to do is try not to beat on the middle of it because that might damage it and all. So you try to just go around it like that. Be careful of the studs. Perfect. Let's go to the other side and adjust those brakes. Okay, here we are on the other side. Now let me see if I can get you a better look at this, uh, what we're going for here. Right, dang it. Yeah, right there, that slot. Hopefully you can see that. That's what we're, that's what we're shooting for, that slot. Right there, that's the adjustment slot. Alright, so let's get our tool and do that. Set it up. Same thing. Put my adjuster through here. There we go. I keep going until I just feel a little drag. Oh yeah, here we go. Now see right there? That's too tight. So I'm gonna de-adjust just a little bit. There we go. There we go, that's perfect. All right, I'm gonna get our little center cap. Around. This, this is, what this cap does, it keeps out the dust. All right, let's get our tires back on and we'll be right back. All right, so that's how you do rear brake shoes on a 2002 PT Cruiser. And um, you know, you guys know if you have any comments or questions, you can post them below in the comment section. Or make sure, tell them about the to make sure their their car whether it's they got to know whether it's mexican made <laughs> yeah there was two different uh shoe sizes for this vehicle um if you don't know if they're mexican okay if you vin starts with a three it was made in mexico that's huh. it, okay vin one is the usa look at that vin two is canada vin three is mexico so we so, back <laughs> if if your VIN starts with a three, your car was made in Mexico, you know which brake shoes you need. Because it was two different brake shoes uh, for this vehicle. So if, you, if you're still not sure, if you doubt it, whatever, measure the brake shoes. Okay, and now, it also depends on where you go. Because not everybody had two brake shoe sizes. Some name brands only had one. How that worked, I'm not really sure. But some name brands had two sizes, some didn't. So just double check it, just to make sure when you get down to the auto parts store, you know what you're getting. Then you don't have to go back and change them and all that other mess. But if you guys have any comments or questions, or if you need any help with anything, just post them below in the comments section. Or you can email Timmy at tim at astroautorepairs.com. All right, I hope you paid attention. If not, watch it again. And if we can't repair it, nobody can. See you next time.